Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil Pussy, the Mile High Mouth. And for today's episode of Suki Nihon, we are taking a quick look at episode 4 of Ace Attorney, Turnabout Sisters Last Trial. You see, I've been watching the Ace Attorney anime series on Crunchyroll, and, uh, well, this one takes place... It takes up almost immediately after the last episode, and the trial continues with Red, White of Blue Corps finally taking the stand as he tries to pin the murder of Mia Fey on Phoenix Wright. And it pretty much proceeds exactly like it does in the game. Right down to some of the reactions, although not as over the top or as exaggerated as some of the stuff in the game. Which is... Mmm... Not as good. I'm sorry. The animation is a little wonky. The CGI is kind of bad. The music's not as soaring. The voice acting is fine. And I know a lot of this will probably be fixed up before it hits Blu-ray. Or before it's released in the United States with an English dub. An English dub would actually kind of help this a bit. Oh, if you're watching it with the subtitles, there's two different sets of subtitles in Crunchyroll. And yeah, they change ramen to hamburgers in the subtitles, which I understand why they're doing that, because joke. But yeah, um, oh, it just went like that. The last about five minutes of it after the trial ends are a little bit more interaction between me, between Mia, Maya, and uh, Phoenix Wright, and that works. You see, the thing is, I want them to show me more information in a new way. Um, most of the trial in this episode did not do that. It was pretty much fairly, fairly verbatim to the game. And that's kind of the problem with this, with the show. This show could stand alone on its own, or it could be a commercial for the games. And this tries to be more of a commercial to, for the games instead of being something good on its own. Um, there's a bunch of different other shows that are based on video games that we will get into, like Persona 4, the animation, or Devil Survivor 2, Record Breaker, the animation, or the Danganronpa um, anime. We, I want to get into those at some point. But the problem is a lot of these are more like an ad for a video game, when you really should just go play the video game to get the good full story. Now, if you've never played the video game, this is a pretty decent little series. I would imagine that if you're watching this and you've never played the game, it's kind of like, kind of like case closed in a way. You're starting to learn some of these characters and there are some interesting and funny characters in here. But if you've played the game, that's going to color your um, expectations of this series and you're going to be sincerely disappointed by the content in many of these episodes. That's why we've been doing that thing after after I rant for a bit about it, where we have the verdict and it's either not guilty or guilty. This one is very definitely guilty. However, it does show that like if this is a 10 to 11 episode series, then they'll probably do like three episodes for the next story arc, then four for the last story arc in the from the game. And if we finish up the first series, first game in the first series, hopefully it'll do well enough that we can get the second series. I don't see why they wouldn't, because Capcom tends to be like, money. Capcom loves money. And, hey, if this comes out with a dub in the United States, I'd like to give them some money. Because it's actually pretty good. Um, in some regards, the animation does need to be cleaned up a bit. There are some really embarrassing and bad um, issues with the animation. But hey, so did um, Pola Magi Madoka Magica had terrible issues with the animation. Stuff like Terraformers had all sorts of horrible censorship with the animation. Um, stuff changes from on broadcast to on Blu-ray. So hopefully we'll get to see that. And hopefully it'll get licensed and come out over here. I don't see why it wouldn't. Because that's how animation companies over here work. Anywho, the thing I did like about this is that they did... Even though they, they didn't spend much time with like the whole Maya and uh, Phoenix Wright um, interaction, because I like those two on screen talking to each other, I do want more character development for Miles Edgeworth. I know he's got some in there, and I'd like to see 
more interaction between those characters that isn't completely scripted from the games. I mean, they can do that. They c it's okay if they deviate a little bit. I'm okay with that. The thing I am interested in seeing, though, um, next week they're going to be starting up the Turnabout Samurai um, episode. So that third case in the game, which has to do with, like, I think the, uh, the Steel Samurai and um, that whole murder case that happens. So there's going to be characters like Wendy Oldbag, who um, is fun. There's a lot of great little characters from the game. I'm looking forward to seeing them in their fully animated glory as on model as can be. Overall, uh, a decent episode, unless you've played the games, then you might be a little bit bored by it. Overall, let's see what they do next week. This series is fairly uneven, and, um, well, this episode's guilty. I'm your host, Will Busley, The Mile High Mouth. Have you seen this episode yet? You can check it out on Crunchyroll for free, pretty much. And um, tell me what you thought of the episode. What do you think of the series so far? Are you hoping for a second season? Because I am. And let me know in those comments below. Hit that, sub hit that subscribe button. Hit those like buttons, the little thumbs up things. And uh, until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.